Given, given where Arsenal's ambitions lie this year, what, what do you make of that result? Well, I mean, a few weeks ago there was there was one or two who were, uh, shall I say, over optimistic and saying, "Well, Arsenal, we, you know, this is a great run. Was it, you know, 19, 20 games unbeaten? Mm. There was an 11 game winning streak. We're in this, we're in this title race. Well, you never were, right? Uh, but that's understandable, you know. This is a work in progress, a huge work in progress for Unai Emery. He's had one transfer window yeah. to try and resurrect the staleness of, of the, the, the latter Aston Wenger years. So I'm actually you know, pleasantly pleased with them. I think there's a hell of a lot of work to be done. If they were to clamber into top four, which I don't think personally they will, I think it would be a great season. But I think for Arsenal, it's just much work to be done. Did you have any issue with uh, Unai Emery taking Ozil off at uh, half-time, Lacazette off when he did? A lot of Arsenal fans did have issue with that. Uh, well, personally, I would have kept him on the field. Mm. Um, you know, um, if you're one up, you want to go for another one, in my opinion. And he's the guy that's going to do it. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a fight for four for them. And I think what Emery's trying to do is build a platform so that he can actually entice some better players to the club. Mm. Because right now, the stars around the world aren't going to Arsenal. There's, there's mm. half a dozen at least ahead of them. Mm. So if, him, if Emery can get a platform to entice uh, players in, then that's what he'll do. Emery said it was a tactical decision to yeah. take uh, uh, Mesut Ozil off. So if you can't shoehorn your most talented player and your highest paid player into any system that you want to operate against one of the less financed teams in the Premier League mm. uh, against Brighton and Hove Albion, then it's clearly only saying one thing, mm. uh, that I need to get Mesut Ozil out, out of this club sooner rather than later because I'm going in a different direction. I had a more of a problem with Lacazette coming off. Yeah. Even if you're changing shape of the team, because between Lacazette and Aubameyang, they're, they're getting a good bunch of goals for Arsenal. And, you know, I was more shocked with that than I was taking Mesut Ozil off. If you want to beat Brighton, in my opinion... You play open attack in football. Yeah. Because that's not what they do best. So why are you taking off one of your main, well, was one Ozil, of your main players that was, does that? Was Ozil doing enough in the first half for you? To, to well, he wasn't the only one. He wasn't the only one who wasn't right. doing enough. The problem here is, is that, that I, I think clearly Unai Emery wants to go in a different direction. Right. So that it's going to be a, it's going to be difficult to make the, the right decision to get the guy off. What's he? Three hundred thousand a week. Yep. <laughs> it's going to have to be a Champions League team. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be easy, but what was you, you seem very frustrated here. I wish Unai Emery would tell us what's enough. Yeah. I wish we had some idea of what Ozil has to do enough of to stay on the field. Mm. Tact what? It's tactical. Is he doing enough? He's not doing enough. Is it, so what, what is enough? I wish, I wish we could understand what mm. enough is for Ozil to stay on the field. Well, it's more than what he's seeing against one of the... Well, one of the bottom half teams in the Premier League. I think that would be... He's not seen... He's not getting it, enough value for money, particularly in games where, against poorer opposition, he's, not, he's just not seen enough pizzazz. He's not, he's not getting he's on not, the ball and, and, and making chances and doing things that... But give him a, a World I mean, Cup give him a chance. Saying, give him give like him a 65. run of games. Give him a run of games. Yeah. Listen, we, we've... As a professional, to be at your best, you need a run of games to get your fitness up, get your confidence up, get all your other stuff up, get playing with your team. Mm. When, when you, you're playing half an hour, you're playing 60 minutes, or you're not playing, you're not in the squad, how is Ozo supposed to get in a position where he can show, well, Unai Emery, what he's actually got yeah. in his locker? It's unfair, in my opinion. 